All right, so I just want to take a moment to uh, show exactly what I've just gotten here. Let me show you this real fast. Okay, so this is a, uh, a DS Lite, right? I just got this for $10. It included all of the accessories, even the little plug part right here to uh, keep your dust out. Um, it turns on, and uh, it works. It works perfectly fine. The volume works and everything. So I'll just turn it back on. So I got this on um, on Facebook Market for ten dollars, literally ten dollars. And I asked the lady um, what exactly. Was, well, once I got in person and everything, because I know what's wrong with it. She said that uh, in the post it wouldn't read games. When I got there in person, I actually asked her specifically, "Is it both sides that don't read games?" And she told me the best answer I could have heard for this specific Game Boy. This one reads games. This one does not. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it apart now, and the hinge works beautifully too. I actually ended up ordering another DS Lite that was broken, the hinge was broken right here, and I was hoping that maybe I could just use the screen off of one of these onto the other ones, and I could still do that, um, but it looks like I didn't need to order that after all, if I can fix this one at least. So let's go ahead and take this apart. We're not going to screw anything in, we're just going to test it out real fast. Maybe that was actually all it needed. Maybe, let's hope. Let's see. Really? Really? Are you fucking... Okay, so it didn't have a bent pen like I thought. Once I got in, I actually looked at it and I realized that it all it, all it needed was some cleaning. There was some dust. There was a bit of hair or something, like red, right around, uh, right around this part right here of, um, on the, GB, on the GBA reader. So that's, dude, that's, that's fucking insane right there. I can't believe I just got this goddamn deal. I paid $10 for this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw it back up. Yeah, I, I got it open. I figured out it just needed cleaning. A uh, little piece of red thing. I, I just went ahead and blew it all out. Figured maybe I do that before I actually go replacing the, uh, the GBA little board here, or read GBA reader. So uh, let's make sure it still works. I believe I do have to set it up one more time because I did take the battery out again. So let's set that up real fast and uh, get to making sure everything works again, so. Okay, so now it's it's restarted. Um, so let's go ahead and insert our game. This isn't my original copy, sadly. Uh, I don't know what happened to all of those. So let's see if this reads. If it does, then I just... Oh my god, it does. Let's launch it up. That's incredible. That's incredible right there. I can't believe... I got this thing for 10 bucks, man. Right, okay, so uh, that's it. That's that's the end of this video, I guess. That was a really quick fix, actually. I thought it would have to go into soldering and everything. That's that. Little cheap Game Boy. Cost $10. Pretty much brand new condition. It looks amazing. Other than this, that's like the only blemish on it, is this tag being messed up. But it looks beautiful other than that. But all right, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you like more, and I've got another thing coming up with uh, Game Boy Advance, so uh, that'll be the next video. Uh, but alright, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.